I took the Orient Express from London to Strelsau. My carriage was full of people travelling to Ruritania for the coronation. They talked excitedly about a woman called Antoinette de Maubin. She's on this train, they said, in a private carriage. I've heard the name before, I said. Antoinette de Maubin is rich, clever and beautiful, but she's in love with the wrong man, Duke Michael of Strelsau. The brother of the new king? Half-brother and rival for the throne. Michael lives in Ruritania, but he's not popular there. People don't trust him. Antoinette is going back to see Michael in Strelsau. Will he marry her? No. Michael wants to marry Princess Flavia and he wants to be king. The train slowly passed through France and then Germany. After lunch I fell asleep. When I awoke it was late in the afternoon and we were crossing into Ruritania. All around us were forests and mountains. When do we get to Strelsau? I asked the ticket collector. I need to find a hotel. You won't find a hotel in Strelsau tonight, he said. They are all booked for the coronation. Is there anywhere I can stay? I asked. Get off when we get to Zenda, he said. You can travel into Strelsau from there. Zenda is a quiet town with a famous castle. It is about 50 miles from Strelsau. I got off the train. As it moved away, I saw Antoinette staring out of a window. Then I went to look for a room.